This video on synthetic webbing slings can be used for educational purposes or safety meetings in the workplace. This video will reference the ASME B30.9 standard, but the manufacturer specifications must always be referenced and made accessible to users. Manufacturer specific information will provide workers with the product's limitations, use, and inspection requirement. The five items required to be marked on synthetic webbing slings are the manufacturer, code or stock number, the rated load, material, and the number of legs on the sling. ASME states that the acceptable temperature ranges for synthetic webbing slings goes from minus 40 degrees Celsius up to 90 degrees Celsius. A few reasons why a synthetic webbing sling may have to be removed from service are missing or illegible identification, acidic or caustic burns on the sling, melting or charring, holes, tears, cuts, or snags on the sling, broken or worn stitching, excessive abrasive wear, knots, chemical or ultraviolet damage, and fittings that are pitted, corroded, cracked, bent, twisted, gouged, or broken. If using a synthetic webbing sling around an edge or corner, the sling must be protected with a material of sufficient strength, thickness, and construction to prevent damage to the sling. Double wrapping a synthetic webbing sling will assist greatly in load control by reducing the possibility of the sling slipping or slipping on the load. If you reduce the angle of the sling's choke hitch less than 120 degrees against the load, you will reduce the rated load. For example, at 120 degrees, the rated load is at 100% of its choke rating. However, when the hitch angle is reduced to 90 degrees, the sling only operates at 87% of the sling's choke rating. If you decrease this even further to a 29 degree hitch angle, the sling will only be operating at 49% of its choke rating. This table shows the choker hitch rated capacity adjustment. It is important to note that synthetic webbing slings are affected by moisture. Water absorption reduces the strength in nylon slings by as much as 15%, although strength will return to the sling once it is completely dried. It is also important to note that polyester slings do not derate when wet with water. When hooking the eye of a sling onto an object, it is important to know that no object greater than one-third the length of the sling's eye should be used. For instance, an eye of 12 inches should be hooked on an object no wider than 4 inches. As the horizontal sling angle decreases, the sling tension increases. The worker must be aware of the effects of the horizontal sling angle by referring to the manufacturer's specifications. Normally, if the horizontal sling angle is at 60 degrees, the tension increases by 15%. At 45 degrees, the sling tension increases by 41%. And at 30 degrees, the sling tension increases by 100%. Nylon is resistant to many alkalis, and polyester is resistant to many acids. However, it is important that the worker checks with the manufacturer's specifications for the sling when dealing with chemicals. When storing synthetic webbing slings, it is best to keep them somewhere safe and clean so the slings can avoid mechanical damage, corrosion, moisture, as well as adverse temperatures. ASME states that there is a minimum standard of an annual periodical inspection of synthetic webbing slings. Check with your employer for their equipment inspection schedule.